Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here today to talk about Grimm Season 2. Uh, I know, it's like, what? Random? Weird? Uh, well, Safi is reviewing my favorite TV show, my favorite TV season, and then I'm reviewing her favorite TV show, favorite TV season. So it's sort of like a switcheroo. I review Grimm Season 2, and then she reviews Californication Season 3. And I thought this would be fun to do. Of course, <laughs> I'm already nervous about just wasting time on these videos because the Californication first video didn't get like a single view, basically. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, uh, because I, you know, I love Californication. I'd love to do more videos on it if it if it gets more support, just like with uh, Grim, maybe if if this gets support. So, anyways, yeah, uh, I've never. Well, I saw it once or twice. My mom, uh, she liked it a lot, and she would watch it all the time, and just constantly, just like every chance she could get she would just rewatch and rewatch and rewatch and i think the thing is is that it would be really annoying to hear it in the background to hear like the same old voices to hear the same old music just over and over again i mean it would it would get old with any tv show though i mean any tv show if you just constantly have to listen to it over and over again in the background so, yeah, I wasn't really wanting to watch it at all. I watched the first episode years ago as, like, a an experiment, and I didn't like it very much. I, I thought it was pretty mediocre, to be honest. I mean, I gave it a shot. <laughs> but anyways, so, yeah, season two. The first episode is called Bad Teeth, and then the second episode is called The Kiss. I'm reviewing two episodes in one. So that we can basically start and finish reviews for the TV shows at the same time. So yeah, I really... The first episode, it, it was sort of slow until like the last 30 minutes or so. I would give the first episode a B-. minus. I think that it was, it was just okay... It it was kind of hard to understand what was going on, obviously, because I haven't seen the rest of the show, which, you know, Safi chose that one for me, so it's her it's her deal. I mean and so yeah, I, I really I, I gotta stop saying that too. So yeah, so yeah. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's just that's ridiculous. But I, I did not the the one thing I, I hated the most, I would say out of everything is the action. The action is very terrible. It's shaky cam action to the max. You basically cannot understand what's going on or see the action to the fullest extent that you would want to. Uh, there's other shows that are like this. I would, I would compare this to Team Wolf, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know, shows like that with like monsters and shit. It's basically the same type of show. I would say that the, the also another thing I did not like was Nick. Nick's character is pretty boring to me. He he looks like he gets out of bed every scene he's in. Like he's got this like bed hair. Like he he needs to go to sleep. And at one point in the episode, he actually says he needs to go to sleep. And I just that's hilarious. Like, is that intentional to make him look like that? Like, ugh. I, I don't like that personally. I prefer, like, with uh, Cooper from Twin Peaks, like, that that perfectly, you know, perfect haircut, perfectly combed everything. Uh, I, I don't really like that that look because he kind of looks like a little punk. And he, he acts like one, too. I mean, he's pretty boring. But then the thing is, is that, he'll get angry or he'll get like determined to to do something and and he'll and and he'll actually become like a cool character because it's like he has a reason to be angry and so i prefer it when he gets angry and there is a scene where he gets angry it's really cool i think that was probably the best scene of the episode maybe 
overall. I I, th- I like his best friends. Uh, I, I love them, actually. I really like them a lot. Uh, they're just very uh, gentle, nice people. They're helpful. They're smart. Uh, they're basically the Xander and Anya of, of the show, but better, <laughs> to be honest. Like, they are better than Xander and Anya. And definitely the Anya character. I mean, Jesus, she was terrible. <laughs> uh, and and then, but I got to say, the star of the show with both of these episodes was Nick's mom. I mean, she was badass. She was a fantastic actor. I mean, I haven't really seen her much. I've seen her in Scarface. And then I saw also she was on King of Comedy. But I haven't really seen her, and and wow, she did a fantastic job. I would say that, like, I'd rather watch a spinoff show about her than continue watching this. I mean, she she was really good, and she was really hot, too. I mean, uh, she was just a perfect female character for me, and it's, it's rare to see that nowadays because they're all, like, just these generic, strong woman, uh, figures who are like cutouts, cardboard cookie cutouts that really don't have a character. I really liked her character a lot. Uh, She reminded me too of uh, Andy's mom from Child's Play for some reason. You know, the original one, the good one, not the, not the remake where she had a quote active sweet 16. (laughs) And, and so anyway, but the, the thing that really bothered me about the first episode was His mom tells him and warns him that these monsters are deceitful. And then he goes into this warehouse, Nick does, and he he goes up to the these bodies and he he basically falls for it. I mean he just he doesn't question a damn thing. He immediately turns around and accepts that those could be the bodies. And I was thinking like Okay, you don't feel any remorse over these two detectives who just got killed. Number one, that's a problem for me too. Uh, That really irritated me because I thought, you know, that makes them a little bit more unlikable than, than, than usual. Because I mean, he he didn't shed a tear. He didn't even care. He didn't even just he he acted like they're decorations. And and so, like, if I were him, honestly, I would have kicked them. I would have kicked both bodies after feeling some type of way. I would have, I would have, you know, these monsters are, quote, deceitful. And so you got to do stuff like that if you're smart to check out. I mean, what's the reason to tell him that they're deceitful if you're just going to fall for their bullshit? <laughs> and then they have this moment where the monster jumps at the camera, and it's sort of like, yeah, okay, that's a really cool shot, but we know he's going to survive. <laughs> I mean, it's like a Goosebumps episode type of shot. But I, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just saying, like, what worked and didn't work. And also, I really have to question why they're working with the police captain. He looks evil. I mean, he his face is probably the most punchable face I've ever seen next to the person who commented hate comments on a video today that I made uh, yesterday. I, I mean, his he just looks evil. I mean, I don't know who the hell would work with him. He looks like the mo- even more evil than the actual monster on this episode. And then the second episode, I actually really liked. I would give the second episode a B+. Uh, I thought that it was a huge improvement right off the bat, it was action-packed, it was tight, it was a lot more clear on what was going on, and they had some really great scenes here and there, and I really liked the aspect of having to cover up what he did, you know, because he's a terrible detective, I mean, (laughs) uh, disposing of evidence, all that kind of crap, I mean, he really, if he's gonna interfere, if he's gonna do this type of like cover up business, then he really should not be a detective in my opinion. Like with Buffy, you know, she was all alone. She was all on her own with her little gang of friends. And, you know, that was cool. But to pretend to be a detective is just kind of like, I I understand he was a detective to begin with, but he really should quit soon. 
I mean, if it's going to interfere this much, it's it's almost the same thing as a Daredevil. The way that he's a lawyer, and then he's also a vigilante, and that season two of Daredevil where it showed that he just cannot balance it because they're two polar opposite figures, uh, and they're one's illegal and one's legal. And it's the same thing with this because they, they can't find, he just, he needs to quit. And his mom, I was really sad to see her go. Uh, you know, I really liked her, as I said, and I would have loved to have seen more of her this season. Uh, and and maybe they could do a show about her in the future. I mean, to be honest, I would watch it. I mean, she's great. And, and then uh, they have that whole scene. I thought I was really disturbed almost, really uncomfortable. I know it's going to make me sound like a, like a, a wimp or something, but the, the part where the police captain, spoiler alert, where he kisses, uh, the, uh, Ju uh, Juliet, where he kisses Juliet in the hospital and he kisses her and, and it wakes her up, but it, it erases her memory. That really disturbed me because it was just, it was like, God, this is so evil. Like, just to erase her memory to where she's never going to be able to remember who she was, who he was. Like, that was evil. Like, I, I really want to kill that guy. I want to kill that police captain. He is just evil. He's not even human, apparently. Like, he's he's hardly even human. So, yeah, I, I really, I hate that guy. And, and I, I like Nick a little bit more this episode, but I still... I'm having reservations because he's really, he's not a good Grim. Because in the first episode, he doesn't even listen to what his mom says about the monster. And he's not a good detective. So what is he? I guess he's a good boyfriend. <laughs> but then again, he, he I, yeah, well, that wasn't his fault. But yeah, anyways, B- minus and B+. Plus. Overall, I'm excited to continue watching this season. I was really anxious to get this review done so I could watch more. So I would say that that's a success. I would highly recommend you guys go check out Grimm. And uh, if, if you like this video, thumbs it up. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, or a thumbs down because that helps too, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Haters don't realize that, but it actually helps. And then uh, subscribe to my channel, and then share this video with all your friends and family. And yeah, goodbye everybody, see you soon.